This is Dave Reese of Blue Rail Trains. Today I'm going to be using an Android to run a Bluetooth train that's outfitted with a Blue Rail board. What I have here is a Samsung Galaxy Tab 4, which I picked up from Walmart for $119. Do not get the Tab 3. These trains and boards do not work with the Tab 3. The app is not in the Google Play Store yet, but when it is, if you're interested in using an Android to run your Bluetooth trains, you need to make sure your device is running Android version 4.3 or newer. Now on the Samsungs, what you do is you go into your settings, and I'll go into the general tab. If I scroll up and see about device, I can see this is, has Android version 4.4.2, so I'm good to go. Now I've seen a lot of devices out there with Android version 6, so by no means do you have to have the latest version to run these trains. Also, once it is in the Google Play Store, if you attempt to download it onto your device and your device is not compatible, it will not install on your device. So that's a good way to check it out in advance. So I already have power going to this track. I'm going to launch the app with a click. There it is. It's a Blue Rail 284. I'll hit connect. I'm connected now and I'll go into standard view. And let me check, make sure I've got my lights working. Lights are good. Got a little whistle. Bell, I'm going to run the train. Now I found that the uh, range with these Androids is pretty much exactly the same as the uh, iPhone and the iPad, so you can get plenty of good range. The app is preliminary, but it's functional. Um, we are just starting to add our skins. We haven't yet added our multi train yet, but it's getting really close. I know a lot of people are eager to run their Bluetooth trains on their Androids, and I'm happy to report that we're making good progress. This is Dave Reese of Blue Rail Trains, out.